go. Yeah. The DFI Hybrid Motherboard consists of an Intel P45 plus ICH-10R chipset combo integrated with an NVIDIA MCP7A ION platform running on an Intel Atom N230 CPU all on the same ATX motherboard. The P45 system supports Core 2 Quad and Core 2 Duo CPUs and has four DIMM slots for DDR2, up to 16 gigabytes in total. The ION system has two notebook memory slots for DDR2 as well. The shared ATX platform has one PCIe by 16 slot, a PCI by one slot, and a PCI slot. The remaining slots belong to the ION platform, which has one PCIe by one and one by PCI. All slots are color-coded to correspond with each respective system, orange for the red power system, and black slots for the green atom system. Both have SATA 2 ports, and since each individual system requires a specific HDD, the corresponding ports are again color-coded to assist with setting up. All other components can be shared between the two systems. The two PCs communicate over a KVM and LAN hub, which is internally integrated to allow for file transfer within, as well as streaming audio when using one PC and linking to the components of the other. The P45 system is the powerful system used for video rendering, intense processing and gaming. This one is referred to as the RED system. The NVIDIA ION system, running with an Intel Atom CPU, is the low-power green version, which uses a unique array of sintered heat pipes to keep the processor cool. Completely silent and passively air-cooled, the green ion system is the perfect PC for power-saving computer use, such as browsing, chatting, playing music, and doing anything that an iPod could do with relative ease. Plug in the standard PSU cable, which powers on the red system. Similarly, connect the green system via the ion power cable. Before startup, with all cables plugged in, the buttons glow green. To turn on the green system, select the power button when the rightmost button is showing green. To turn on the red system, switch the rightmost button to red. This rightmost button is your key to knowing which system is running and which is showing up on your screen. The other two buttons are related to audio. In the middle, you have the audio mode lock button, and to the left of that is the audio mode button. You have two choices on how to set up the audio. You can either fix the audio to follow the platform that you are using, or you can fix the audio to follow the system of your choice. To fix the audio onto any system of your choice, even when switching between the green and red system, toggle the middle button to red and use the leftmost button to select the audio platform, either green for green system or red for red system. Now you can use the rightmost button to switch between systems, but the audio channel will remain on the system you locked in place. The P45 red system has a PCIe by 16 slot which can support many of today's latest VGA cards. The VGA card interacts with the P45 chipset exactly like any other P45 system available on the market. The ION, green system, has an MPC, meaning the graphics is processed directly on the integrated NVIDIA ION chipset. The low-power ION system has no need for blistering graphics and caters for word processing, web browsing, downloading files, and chatting as well as playing music or videos easily. When used as two separate PC systems, then both monitors should connect to the respective system DVI output. When used as a single PC, two and one, the link cable should be used to link the P45 VGA card to the DVI input on the back panel. Then the single monitor should connect to the DVI output on the back panel and using the rightmost switch on the front panel, one can select which system is seen in your single monitor.
The back panel is very simple to use. Some ports are for the green system, others for the red system, and some are shared between them. The four leftmost USB ports are shared ports. So when the red system is active, then these four USB ports belong to that system, and all components plugged in will be active for that system. If you switch over to the ION green system, then the USB ports shift allegiance and the peripherals that are connected through them are linked to the ION system instead. The HDMI port belongs to the ION green systems. The coaxial SPDIF and optical SPDIF are shared between the green and red systems as needed. The DVI in and DVI out have already been explained and belong to the ION system. The other four USB ports are divided evenly between the two systems. These USB ports are fixed and will not chance as you change over systems. The LAN ports are shared. The one can be used as a link to the internet and the other can be used to link to another computer as if connecting to a hub. The audio ports are shared or fixed depending on the button selection on the front panel. The PCI Shield has power in for the ION platform as well as shared ports for eSATA, 3-channel audio and optical SPDIF input.